Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you how to play drop two chords. Yeah, it's very simple. It's a very cool sounding technique. You can really add to your playing. So alright, let's get straight into it. We're in the key of C. So what is drop two? So let's say you have C major. So what drop two says is you take the second note in the chord from the top, with the top is G, the second note in the chord from the top, right, which is E, you lift it out of the right hand and you just row it over in the left hand. So you have this, it's the same C major, C major, what you're playing is here. So if you were playing C major with this inversion, the second note from the top is C, so you'd play it like this. If you're playing C major with this inversion, the second note from the top is G, so you'd play like this. So now we learn this one. So now you have learned a cool drop two movement. So you have learned that cool drop two movement. So that's basically basically the whole principle is very simple so it's all up to you now to experiment i always say experiment because the oftentimes that's a great way to learn so we're playing here so why did we play this so what we just played is this we play this so these are the chords we played, this, is, this C inversion, this F inversion, and back to C. So based on the principle I just showed you, you take the second note in the chord from the top, which is C. So over this chord, we have this, right? Now we're going to the F, same principle, take the second note in the chord from the top, F, right? And now we're going back to the C. So now, based on that principle, it would, have to, it would have to be the E. So we have... So that's basically this. The G. And I placed the B down here. But you notice I add this. Because I like to play dissonance. So... This is just something fancy, just call it something fancy, something I like to do, you don't have to, but if you like the sound, you can adapt that. So it's the dissonant notes, these two notes rubbing together, these are dissonant notes, that sound, it sounds crazy by itself, but when you put it in a chord, it gives a cool sound. So, you can include dissonance in your playing. So, we have here, you can do that if you don't want to. You can do Right? So, it's essentially this chord again. It's basically this. But I'm playing the E down here. Same F. show you another one another progression you can use dissonance in let's go to the key of c sharp so another common movement let's say the bass is stuck on the one you can do this uh, here we go so it's basically So we have the C sharp major, the inversion, this inversion to this inversion, and then we go to the major two. So we're just inverting twice, and then we go to this chord, which is basically, right, the F sharp minor, another inversion, 
So using the drop tool, so we're going to eliminate the second card from second note from the top. So we have that. Let's go to the next inversion. Now we're going to the two. Right? The next one. And we're going to play this. So we're going to remove this note and throw it down here. We can either choose to do that. But I think I like this as well. It's all about experiment, as I said. So this, yeah, this is what you want to do. I was just saying that. So I think you would prefer to use this card versus that one. So you have the E flat. Right? Oh. So let's go in real time. And the bass will just be remaining on the one. He's just bored playing the one. So that's the basic concept of drop tools. So guys, give it a shot. If you like this video and you want to see more, I have another video for you. Check it out.